Peacock fans to another episode of Peacock's On The Prowl. I'm Jim Lowry, and sitting with me today is head coach of the men's wrestling team, Heath Krim. Coach, nice to have you here. Good to be here. All right, Coach, now the regular season's over. You're getting ready for the regional championships in Sioux Falls this coming weekend. How does the uh, team prepare for that? Exactly right. You know, we're getting ready for tournament time, which is excitement. Um, this is about each individual now. Um, obviously, you know, there's a team score and that kind of stuff, but uh, this is all about each guy getting prepared, you know, keeping his weight under control, uh, getting as healthy as he can get at this stage of the season, um, you know, reinforcing the positives and, 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 hit, and their individual strengths. And then if there's some areas that we still want to put some focus into as far as, uh, you know, some trouble areas or some, some areas that need a little more attention, we've been trying to do that. But um, I, I tell you what, it's really about getting these guys in the right mindset um, and, and getting ready to flip that switch come Saturday and Sunday in Sioux Falls. All right, Coach, as you said, the regional championships will be in Sioux Falls. Now, why don't you tell us, you know, you have 125, 133, 140, 149. How, uh, how are the lightweights going to do up there? Hmm. Well, I don't know if I need to break that down by weight classes, but, you know, I mean, I'm expecting everyone to do well. Um, you know, we got to work on some pre-seeds and do some things like that. The top four guys out of each weight class advance onto the national championship. There's 15 schools there. It's obvious, obvious to everybody that this is the toughest regional out there in the country. We're preparing for this thing to be like it's nationals. Uh, you know, we're not going to leave anything, any, anything left in the tank, so to speak. You know, we're going to empty our tank, and uh, then we'll regroup and get ready for nationals as we, we you know, as we have to. But um, you know, talking about those lightweights, you know, Malik has been getting more and more mat time, so he's now finally really ready to get out there and, and, and give it a full seven. Uh, we're excited about that. Uh, Matt Paulus has been, you know, wrestling the best he's wrestled ever since he's come to Upper Iowa. Um, so we like where he's at. Uh, 141 pounds, Jordan Rotes. You know, I, we don't know where he's going to be seated, anything like that. You know, he's been to the national tournament. Uh, to me, he's the kid that you don't want to draw. You know, if, if I'm a coach on the other side of the fence here, uh, Jordan Rotes, I mean, you look at his season records and he's lost to some guys in our region. However, you know, he lost 3-1 sudden victory to an All-American, 3-1 sudden victory to another kid that's going to probably be seated, and he lost 3-1 sudden victory to another All-American. That's a scary guy to grab a hold of. We like it. We've embraced that mentality. Um, and, you know, he's also beat the number three guy in the nation. You know, so, uh, you know, we, we like what's going on there. And Damian, as a redshirt freshman, you know, a bunch of wins. Um, you know, he's right on that cusp, you know, as well. So he's been training hard. He's been getting some extra workouts in. He's got his weight under control. He's getting his body as healthy as he can get. And uh, I like where he's at right now as well. So we're excited about that start. All right, Coach, right in the middle there, you know, 157, 165, 174. That's like the heart of the team right there for you. What are you looking for from those guys? Oh, man, just more of the same. Uh, I want these guys to get out to a lead. You know, uh, Rankin, Bennett, Vance, you know, are the three guys you're talking about at those weights. All guys with plenty of experience, uh, big stage experience too, doing big things uh, against guys that are nationally ranked or all-American level kids. So I really want those guys to be who they are and to be the best guy who they can be. They need to get out there and, and chase down some points. We want them to wrestle with the lead, get out there and get ahead and make that guy have to pressure and press, you know, and that's really where we want to be with those guys. But uh, I like how they've been preparing. Um, really looking forward to all, all three of those guys getting on the mat on Saturday. All right, Coach, and then to round it out, the upper weights, you know, the heavy boys going in there, including Ryan Parmalee, the true freshman at 197. Yeah. What are you kind of looking at from your upper weights? Yeah, well, two two freshmen in there, right? I mean, you know, and Avery in there at heavyweights, a true freshman. So, you know, th with those two guys, and then you add Malik and Damian, there's four freshmen in the lineup, you know, two red shirts and two uh, true. But uh, the other guy is Dalton Westerlin, who's got a lot of experience as a junior. Um, you know, he's wrestled and, and split one piece, one match apiece with uh, defending NCAA runner-up out of Maryville. He lost in sudden victory to him, or uh, sudden victory, yeah, sudden victory the first time out at the Midwest Classic. Got his hands back on him again at the national duels, and we beat him in sudden victory. So, uh, yeah, actually, that might have been a tiebreaker. But I mean, so you know, Dalton has wrestled the best of the best in, the, in, in his weight class, and uh, you know he, he's got his hand raised. So Dalton, we're just ready for him to impose his will, his style, his strategy out there on his opponents. Obviously not giving up any cheap points, things like that. 
but to be dangerous uh, from all three positions, top, bottom, and neutral. Uh, Parmley, you know, the more mat time, every day that he's gotten to train, the better. Because, you know, playing football in the fall, you know, is made for a short season for him. It's kind of like Malik, you know, coming off that injury, getting these guys back on the mat. You're just watching them progress and figure things out, get more of a comfort zone, knowing what they can and can't do, positions they should be in and shouldn't be in. So looking for more of that development out of Ryan. Um, you know, I, I know he's going to empty the tank. And then Avery, I love his attitude, very positive. He's got a great opportunity to soak in this experience is what he's going to take away from it. And uh, we're looking to get some more threats in. Uh, and when he can threaten a guy, he can put a guy in trouble if he gets him on their back. So, uh, you know, as a program, you know, we, we know that there's not anyone out there that's going to give us anything at regionals. There's no giving away anything. So what do you have to do if you're not going to get something? you got to go take it. And so we got a take it mentality. And uh, I think if we do that and we live that and we wrestle like that for seven minutes, eight minutes, nine minutes, whatever it takes to get that hand raised, hey, we're going to feel pretty good about ourselves. And there you have it, Peacock fans. Peacock Wrestling back in action this weekend. They'll be looking to see what they can take away from the regional championships up in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. You'll be able to find all the results on UpperIowaAthletics.com. Until next time, Peacock fans, I'm Jim Lowry. Thank you for watching.